The Dental Brief is brought to you by Omni Premier Marketing and the amazing guests who bring wisdom and advice that you can put to use to take your business and practices to the next level. Find us on Facebook and join the conversation. Get ready to grow because we are kicking off the next episode in three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Dental Brief. We have with us uh, someone based here in Colorado, um, like we are. Um, terrific guest, been on the program before, excited to have her back. Uh, Stephanie Botts, say hello. Hi, Patrick. Thank you so much for having me again. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure having you here. Um, grateful to have you back. Now, you're the posture pro, right? So um, we're going to talk about um, ergonomics today. A um, little different than a lot of our subjects, but so important, right? Being able to practice without pain, I think, is uh, pretty key for anyone. Um, Tell us, and I know you also have ex, you have experience in clinics, so kind of tell us your background. How'd you get involved in dentistry? Yeah, so I've been a hygienist, practicing hygienist for over 14 years. Um, a few years, well, I guess about four years ago, I um, started experiencing, experiencing a lot of pain, and um, it got so bad that I was not sure if I was going to be able to stay in dentistry. So that's kind of what started my road into learning about ergonomics was really just for myself <laughs> to try to figure it out and stay in the operatory. Um, and then I just, once I learned it and I realized the power that it has in helping us feel better, I decided it was something I wanted to do for the profession because I know that we, most of us, 90% of us struggle with this. So I started a company called Posture Pros to help people with that. Yeah. And so tell me, how do you people? How do you help people in general? Do you is it pretty typically? Do you have courses that people can check out? Are you helping people in one on one situations? What does that look like? It's kind of all of the above. I um, work with individuals or like whole dental practices where I am providing assessments for each individual clinician and some coaching to help them establish better habits. Um, I do a lot of CE on ergonomics, both virtual and um, I travel quite a bit and I speak about it. And then I consult with companies too when they're trying to modify existing products or come up with new products to really help us in dentistry. So it's, I, I have a big umbrella of, of things that I do. Yeah, that's awesome. So I wanna talk, we're gonna talk about some challenges and problems. We obviously know that pain, fatigue, um, time off, workers comp, all that stuff is legitimate. I think everyone is, is well aware of that um, or will become aware of it soon if they don't take some precautions. Um, so I don't wanna to get too much into that. Um, what I do wanna, get into with you, and I know this is uh, going to be um, a little challenging um, in this type of a format, but tell me, what are a couple of things that are commonly done over and over and over again in practices that you see people doing all the time that is really hurting them, that is really negatively affecting them? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, yeah, there's so many aspects that like we cannot cover them all, but I would say that probably the number one thing is forward head posture. And that's when our head or text, if you think of text in the neck, that's what I'm talking about. When the head is really far forward, I see that all the time in dental clinicians. And that is something that once it is established that you're in forward head posture all the time, that causes a lot of, of issues. And all of these back, neck, migraines, um, even jaw issues get traced back to that forward head posture. So if we can get that under control with like proper loops, and good body awareness, then that solves a lot of issues. Um, another issue I see is improper patient positioning. Like 95% of the time, the patient is positioned way too high um, mm. compared to the clinician. And so they're forced to kind of like do all these crazy things with their posture. So um, if people can master those two things, they'll be in really good shape. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I know this is a super, our episodes, as everyone knows, are, are really fast. Um, we'll keep this one really fast. Um, give me some exercises. So what are some things that people can do? And I know it's video, but I'm not going to have you get up and show us. What are some things that you can help people visualize? What are a couple exercises um, that they could do? Maybe it's not ch dental chair related, right? Maybe it's not chair time related, but what are some exercises you can do in the morning or a, your lunch break or in the evening that can start to help you out? Well, um, speaking of forward head posture, there is one exercise that is pretty much specifically for that, and it's called a cervical retraction. And that's where you're just moving. And I have videos of this on my social media too, if people need more um, in-depth explanation, but it's basically just moving your head horizontally back towards your spine to get the ear in line with the shoulder. And you're kind of just doing that, like doing a bunch of reps. Um, there was a study that said just doing one set of 15 reps per day can really help. I think for us in dentistry, because we're so prone to that, we could benefit from more. 
but that is a really important exercise. And um, if we're talking about out, and this is some, that's something you can do in your car or on your lunch break, it's really easy. If we're talking about strengthening, like different exercises that people should should do, I would say anything that strengthens the posterior. So um, things like rows, deadlifts, anything that will strengthen the back part of our body, that's going to help us be able to be in neutral posture more. So let's talk about like a fun thing that they could do, right? So let's talk about, you know, getting your neck aligned, like what you just talked about. And that I think that's something people can visualize, get your ears with your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Ever have any games you can set up with in the office? Because everybody should be doing like this. A hygienist, the assistant should be doing this. Yeah. Dentist, of course, should be doing this. Or any kind of fun games that you can use to, to check in on one another to make sure they are or they're not doing it? Yeah. So this is something that I actually did at my previous practice is I would have people just randomly take pictures of me when I'm practicing or I would take pictures of other people while they're practicing mm. to see, kind of sneak up on them just to see if they're in neutral posture. Many times we're not, but it's a really good learning tool. And like the more people who were in neutral, you know, got points. And um, so anyway, it was just more of like a bragging, right? But that's something that you could do. Photography is huge. Once we see ourselves in practice right. and how, what our posture looks like, that's a really good learning tool. Yeah. You know, I know we have no dentist ever play golf doesn't exist, but I know and I'm, I'm being sarcastic, of <laughs> course, but in golf, when you see yourself on video, when you see what that posture looks like, it's always very different than what you think, right? Yeah. What you think, you think you're all nice and straight and it looks like this. And then when you look at it, it's uh, really crooked. So talk about um, the dollars and cents of this. So, you know, we've talked about, you know, we're, we've got health benefits and, and um, you know, getting into the right position and how this can help make you feel better. But let's talk about the financial impact um, that can be had um, if you really improve this or what can happen if you don't. What kind of impacts does it have on the finances of a practice? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, the the health of our body really does dictate if we're able to practice or not. And that's true for the dentist, hygienist, assistant, front office. And if we have people that are out because of pain, which happens a lot, especially right now, it's really difficult to fill those positions. I mean, it's we're in a really awesome. tough environment right now. So you've got these positions that need to be filled, and then you have the remaining team that is still there at the office trying to pick up the extra slack, which is very stressful. Like we've all been in that situation. But if you've got a hygienist or assistant that has to take time off and have surgery or just recover from a muscle injury, that can be devastating for your practice. And so if we can yeah. just back up and learn about ergonomics first, because ergonomics really is preventive. It's just like flossing. And if we get that under control, we're going to prevent a lot of these issues in the future. Yeah, it makes total sense. And I know you know, like you mentioned before, um, it's not the sexiest subject on the planet, but there are some really sexy subjects that it ties together with, like right? income and also keeping team, right? So this is a value that you can use that you can help um, invest in your team members and your employees and help build them up and make them better at what they do. And they're going to appreciate that and they're going to like that. Do you see that? Do you see oh that benefit gosh, in practice? Yeah. So um, my favorite is when the practice owner or the owner dentist hires me to coach the entire team because that holds people accountable. You can start to hold each other accountable. It's telling the team that you care about them and that you're willing right. to invest in them, which is huge for just, you know, feeling your value. And 100%. then ideally it's going to prevent injuries, which is going to help you and your practice in the long run too. So sometimes people will be like, well, what's a good, you know, what's a good team gift for my team? I'm like, let's do ergonomic coaching. Like it's going to help them and it's going to help you. Yep. Let's talk about the financial investment in this a little bit. And typically, it's not something that I want to do, but I think some people are pretty scared by the cost, but it's actually pretty reasonable. What if you wanted to invest in a program, you know, if you wanted to make an investment, what type of financial investment? And I'll give a range from like low end to kind of high end is a is a an expectation a practice should have if they work with you or someone like you. Yeah, so it, I've got a, I've got a few different options actually, and they range from a couple hundred bucks all the way up to six hundred dollars per clinician, depending on what kind of service you're looking for. Sure. Um, I also do team like office ergonomic presentations for a few hundred dollars, which is really good. I like to tie everything together because that presentation kind of lays the foundation, and then I'm able to go in and coach. So I have right. single clinicians that hire me. I have offices that hire me for everyone. And then if there's more than eight clinicians, there's a 10% discount too. Yeah. So it's, I feel like with the, with the benefits that you get, it's a minimal investment. And this ergonomic training, it's not just for the operatory, it's for your life. 
too. Yeah. So it's like principles that you can take everywhere. Yeah, you know, I think one of the, when we see this, one of the things that will cause dentists to retire much sooner than they thought are these types of issues, right? These issues that poor posture can it's the number cause, one thing. Yeah. that can take a long time to unwind, right? And they end up selling their practice earlier than they thought when they're not expected, right? There's a lot of stress and fear and anxiety and even lower prices on the value of practice. So it's cheap. I mean, it's, it's literally such a really low cost, high impact uh, investment that just uh, makes a lot of sense for everyone. Yeah. So check if, you, if you take into consideration too, the amount that we spend on um, different products, chiropractor appointments, physical therapy appointments, massage, all of that. And if you can prevent a lot of that with just some ergonomic training, that's going to pay off in the long run too. Yeah. Makes a ton of sense. So um, great advice, great exercises that you can use today. Want everyone to check out the websites is posturepros.net. Mm -hmm. um, Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, Patrick. I appreciate it.